Got some cool data for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm in autopilot right now and um, I am uh, just heading on an expressway and uh, right now going 70 miles per hour. Have it set for 75, but the car ahead of me is going 70 right now. And wanted to show you some, uh, some interesting scan my Tesla app data. So uh, I, I just grabbed my phone and started recording because this, um, I began to realize this expressway is arrow straight, perfectly level, at least in the section that I was in. Arrow straight, perfectly level. It's bright and sunny. There's no wind at all. And 75 miles per hour is the typical, uh, typical expressway speed that you would normally travel at in our area. So I wanted to get some, some data for you guys. And so I grabbed my phone and uh, recorded a little bit. And uh, here it is. All right, so you'll see that uh, I am drawing about 24 kilowatts and I am sustaining 75 miles per hour. Yes, it is a 65 mile an hour speed limit, but people are actually pulling away from me. Uh, if you drive slower than this on this road, you'll get run into. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, 75 miles per hour. And um, now we're down at uh, 20 kilowatts or so. Uh, let's see here and back up around 25, 26. So you'll notice that battery power and motor power differ just a little bit. Uh, motor power, our power is rear motor, is always higher than battery power because there are some losses in the lines. And you can see motor torque there. So stator temp is at 86 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm at 350 watt hours per mile at this speed and my cell temperature is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, still maintaining 75. I am, uh, I'm in autopilot here. So uh, yeah, all is going well. And um, this is uh, extremely flat, extremely level. And you can see on the screen, extremely straight road. There's no wind, it's clear. It is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, uh, 20 to 25 kilowatts, which is maybe 30 to 35 horsepower to maintain the speed. Currently I'm at 275 watt hours per mile consumption. Uh, in this 10, 10 miles of driving, uh, it is uh, 350 roughly watt hours per mile. So today, 116.6 miles, I've averaged 241 watt hours per mile. So pretty good. And uh, just tooling her along with traffic. And again, still up at uh, around 20 kilowatts. I think uh, we're going slightly downhill right now. And yep, so regen is kicking in there. So anyway, pretty cool. So you'll see that I was averaging about 25 kilowatts. We'll call it 30, 35 horsepower or so uh, to maintain about 75 miles per hour on a level uh, expressway with no wind. And uh, that was uh, 300, 350 watt hours per mile of power consumption. So kind of interesting data and information. Uh, the, um, I've got some other videos based on the Scan My Tesla app coming up soon. One video is voltage sag and battery internal resistance. That's a good one for you. That will better explain uh, efficiency of the pack, how to um, how to uh, to hyper mile a Tesla, how how to make the battery pack last a long time. A lot of that is related to the internal resistance of the battery and the voltage sag under load. Uh, I've got some other um, info related to power consumption of the heat, as well as. Um, torque and uh, battery capacity and, and different things coming up soon so keep an eye on the channel but uh, just a short uh, quick video for you today but uh, it was interesting info that I figured I'd pass along so you guys have a wonderful day now bye bye